Well, good morning from the Cottage Farmstead. We haven't met before. I'm Rebecca. And today we're going to take a little bit of a walk out into the field before it gets a little too hot outside to do that today. We've had a nice reprieve from some of the intense summer heat this past week, but it's supposed to get up into the mid to upper 90s today. So I'm going to take advantage of the last cool morning we have this week to go take a look at our cows. So it's been a very hot and dry summer here in the upper state of South Carolina. Hot's normal, this dry is not normal. This year though, most people probably only got one cutting of hay because we just have not had enough rain. We're definitely in a deep drought and we're really, really hoping and praying we get a good amount of rain before the daylight decreases too much to at least have our pasture regrow one more time before we get into the winter. But this summer we've already had to start feeding hay, which is pretty unusual for our area which means the hay prices are gonna be going up for the winter on us. So it's not the only pregnant mama on the homestead this summer. We bred two of our heifers back in the late fall, early winter. One of them was due August 31st, and then the other one is due September 14th. Unfortunately, the saying where there's livestock, there's dead stock did hold true. Uh, Nifty was due August 31st, and she unfortunately delivered at the beginning of August. According to the vet, the calf died in utero at some point, so this was just a, mis a very late miscarriage for her. Thankfully, Nifty was okay, passed her placenta, no sign of infection, but it was very sad to go out into the field and find a dead calf one evening. But our other heifer is due in about two weeks, um, actually due a couple days before I am. So this video might actually be finished by Farmer Nathan in the end. But our heifer known affectionately as no tag, as she has no tag in her ear, is due September 14th. And we took a walk down here over the weekend and noticed that her udder was starting to develop a little bit. Backside was starting to loosen a little bit. So we're gonna try and keep an eye on her throughout the next couple of weeks just to see how she's doing. Nifty, when she delivered her stillborn calf, um, just disappeared into the woods and ver delivered very quickly. We're hoping it's just as easy for no tag, but we do want to keep an eye on her, especially since we did have the stillborn calf with our first one this year. Well, per usual, our cows spend the early, early morning out grazing what they can from our pasture, but very quickly they go into the woods. I don't know if you can see them on camera here. You might hear them a little bit in the woods swatting at flies. But it looks like no tag is doing just fine. She's just chewing the cud down here. Nifty is thinking about coming out. She likes to get a little scratches or check and see if I have any treats. She's a sweet one. And then we have our bull and steer that are going to be our meat cows for the year in the background there. I'm going to try and take a little bit of a closer look to Nifty to check on her. But it doesn't look like we're going to have any action today. And as expected, since it is a bit early in her due date window, don't see any sign of action. She's just chilling here in the shade, so I will let her continue relaxing in the shade the rest of the day. Like I mentioned earlier, she is due a couple days before I am, so more than likely Farmer Nathan's going to be one finishing this video off. We really hope that we can catch the birth on camera. If we can, we will film it. But if not, we'll insert some cute calf footage right here so that you can enjoy the new life that we welcome to our homestead. We'll catch you next time. We got a good, strong baby. Uh, Trying to feed or figure it out. Might take a little while.